Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we're gonna go through the recent update to the Armory Crate called Armory Crate 1.5. So this has landed on my UK-based ROG Ally today and uh, takes about five minutes to install. So if you want to install it, you can just search for it in your old Armory Crate via the updates. So as you can see, some significant changes to the actual user interface. And first and foremost, we've got a new option to favorite the games, uh, which will then put it in the favorite tab. You can use a mouse, you can touch the screen as well, because obviously ROG Ally and Ally X are both touch screen. They've got touch screens, so you can do that. And then you've got a new list view as well, which allows you to yeah, you guessed it. Put your games in a list view. Now it also tells you your local storage. You can sort your games by title. You can sort them by in alphabetical order, or for example, um, sort them via playtime. So that is that. Then you've got game options. So I'm going to choose Fallout 76 for this one. So set game profile. You've got key mapping over here, but you also have one new feature, which is called select template. So you used to have templates on the old Armory Crate, but this time you can choose and create your own templates, but also export them and import them. So if you've got a really good template, a really cool template for your key bindings, you can export it and share it with your friends who can then can import it. I've got a feeling there's going to be a website coming in soon with all sorts of um, game profile settings. So as you can see, you can duplicate it, you can rename it, you can select it, you can export it and import it. Um, then with no major changes in the late, uh, left and right stick uh, response curves, uh, dead zones and anti-dead zones, uh, trigger, no new features in here, vibration, nope, nothing in here, gyro, pretty similar. Now, they did change the layout a bit of the whole um, menu on how you use it versus the old Armory Crate. However, most of the features are pretty much similar. So, I don't tend to use gyro. Configuration, so that allows you to choose how you want to, which um, performance profile you want to use. I tend to use Turbo, then Aura Sync and Game Visual. And then GPU settings, so now you can set up an FPS limiter within the game profile itself, and then you can now choose to add AMD Fluid Motion frames as well um, from this menu. But this is only specifically for this game, so Fallout 76, for example. I will show you later on how to change it. There are two um, other options to change or add or remove AMD Fluid Motion frames. So that is that. Then you've got a game info as well. So in here, obviously, you can change the game art. You can edit the name of the game. So obviously, Fallout 76 in Polish is Fallout 76 Ski. Um, as it is in Polish language, when you add SKI at the end, that makes it very Polish. Um, you've got set options as well. So, you, for example, you, how the game launches, and then you can add tags as well. So these are useful if you want to use the new search option, which I will show you in a second, um, and allows you to uh, search via tag, for example. Okay, so that's that. Let's go back. And as you can see, we've got game options in here. You've got game info. You can uninstall the games as well from within here, which is brilliant. And then, like I said, you've got a search bar now, so you can search via tags. But obviously, you can type the title of the game as well. If you've got more than me, um, I've got about 43 games installed. But obviously, if you've got, let's say, 4 terabyte uh, drive or something, you've got 143 games, it makes life easier. Now, in terms of the library as well and everything, you can now put it in vertical uh, mode as well well view you can do it top center bottom you can change the size of the cover art which is brilliant uh, you can remove the game title 
just uh, in here. Yeah, you can remove the game title, for example, or you can uh, show or remove the background image. You can also blur the background image um, fully, or you can darken the background image and so on. So as you can see, highly customizable, and it's nice that AS, Asus and the ROG team have listened to the our pet peeves with Armory Crate and allows us to um, customize it um, differently. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, this actually looks nice. However, I am a horizontal, sorry, vertical um, type of person, so I will be reverting this back to um, vertical mode because I just prefer to 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 browse it like that. I've been using Armory Crate for quite a while, um, and I just got kind of got used to it. Um, but if you've been using, for example, I think it's called Play Night, um, this more resembles it of it or the Steam Big Picture mode. But I think, yeah, the big thing for me is, apart from customizability, um, is the option to obviously uninstall the games from within here. And as you can see, this also, the customization also applies to the vertical, so both vertical and horizontal. And then we've got game platforms as well, so they are all nicely, neatly um, put in the game platforms tab. Now, for example, if you tap GOG Galaxy... It's going to open it up, and obviously we are in GOG Galaxy. Oh, when did they add Resident Evil 1? Nice. Very nice, actually. Wow. Resident Evil available on GOG Galaxy. How good is that? Oh, I wonder what... Sorry, everyone. I know it's a video about Armory Crate, but hey, it's big news. It's big thing. Big day, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, the old school ones, um, available on GOG Galaxy. Let's go! Okay, so let's move on to different settings. So we've got the control mode, pretty similar to the previous ROG Ally Armory Crate. Um, however, these are global settings. So how, whatever you set it up in here, it's going to work in every single game. Game, not game. Then we've got obviously the dark mode and light mode for the Armory Crate. But uh, one of the big things in here as well is the... Let's have a look. Oh, it's showing 60 hertz because I'm connected to 60 hertz mon external monitor. One of the big things in here is that you can now turn off Armory Crate SE to not launch automatically when you fire up Windows. So when you fire up uh, Windows, when you log in, it won't show up, which for some people was quite important. No major changes in the operating and the performance mode, really. Um, some nice TLC here and there. It looks slightly different, but um, no major changes. However, there are some major changes in the performance tab. Again, you do have AMD Fluent Motion frames in here. So if you want to set it up for every single game, you can do so in here. Game visual, lightning connection, audio, aura sync, not much change here. However, again, massive change over here. So now in the command center, you've got the A, uh, AMD fluid motion frame rates button. So you can add it now to the command center. So again, you can turn it on and off on the fly. Then we've got the different campaigns, FAQ, how to use the Armory Crate, your screenshots and your video recordings. And then on the very last tab, we've got our profile, um, our products, registered events and notifications. So overall, pretty decent. So yeah, let me know what you think about the new update to the Armory Crate. Thanks for watching another episode and have a great day. Bye.